Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, is your iPhone stuck in this super annoying loop where it keeps turning on and off by itself? You're not alone, this is a pretty common issue in 2025. And the good news is, in most cases, you don't need to panic or run straight to the repair shop. Before diving into the fixes, let's quickly break down why this might be happening. A failed iOS update. An overloaded system due to full storage. Or even battery and other hardware issues. But before sending it off for expensive repairs, here are a few things you can try yourself without losing your data. Method 1. Force Restart. Let's start simple. Sometimes a good old force restart can do the trick. If you're using an iPhone 8 or later, press and quickly release the volume up button, then the volume down button, and finally hold the side button until the Apple logo appears. It might sound basic, but this alone can break the restart loop. Method 2. Use Rayboot to repair, no data loss. If a restart doesn't help, try using a tool like Rayboot. It's one of the safest ways to fix this without touching your data. Here's what you do. Click on the description area below the video to download, install and open Tenorshare Rayboot. 2. Put your iPhone into recovery mode. 3. Connect it to your computer, launch Rayboot and choose standard repair. This method doesn't erase anything, it just repairs the system glitches that might be causing the loop. Method 3. Wireless repair with another iPhone. Now this one's pretty cool and new in 2025. If you have another iPhone nearby, you can actually use it to help repair the one that's stuck. There's a step-by-step -step video, we'll link below that, shows exactly how to do it. But in short, it uses a wireless recovery feature introduced recently by Apple. Definitely worth a try before plugging into iTunes. Method 4, iTunes update or restore. You can also try connecting your phone to iTunes and updating the system. But honestly, if your problem started after a failed update, this might not help and could even lead to data loss if you go for a full restore. That's why I really recommend using Rayboot instead. It's safer and doesn't wipe your data. Still not fixed? Contact Apple support. If none of these worked, it might be time to call in the pros. Reach out to Apple support, especially if it seems like a deeper hardware issue, like a faulty battery or motherboard. How to avoid this in the future? To reduce the chances of this happening again, check your battery health if it's low. Consider getting it replaced. Free up some storage regularly. A full iPhone can lead to serious slowdowns and crashes. And try resetting all settings. Go to Settings General Transfer or Reset iPhone Reset, Reset All Settings. This won't delete your data, but it can fix issues caused by messed up settings. All right, I hope one of these methods helped you out. If it did, drop a like, and don't forget to subscribe for more iPhone tips and fixes. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.